Welcome back, Linux enthusiasts. Ubuntu 23.10, codenamed Mantic Minotaur, one of the most popular Linux distributions, is known for its regular releases that bring the latest software and technologies to users. Ubuntu 23.10 is no exception, and it promises to offer a fantastic user experience. Let's dive right in. First and foremost, Ubuntu 23.10 runs on the latest Linux 6.5 kernel series. This update brings significant enhancements, including ZSTD compressed modules for faster boot times and improved hardware support. To put this into perspective, the ZSTD compressed modules significantly reduce boot times, giving you a snappier experience. The desktop environment is the heart of any Linux distribution, and Ubuntu 23.10 introduces the latest GNOME 45 desktop. This means you'll enjoy a host of new features and improvements. Some highlights include a new activities indicator, a camera indicator, a quick setting for changing the keyboard backlight, and revamped settings and Nautilus file manager apps. If you're a fan of Snap Apps, you're in for a treat. Ubuntu 23.10 includes various performance improvements for default Snap Apps like Firefox. For instance, Firefox Snap now enables native Wayland mode by default when using the Wayland session, resulting in a faster browsing experience. The Ubuntu desktop installer has also received some updates. Notably, it includes an experimental ZFS on root installation option and minimal installation as the default choice. This makes the installation process more flexible and tailored to your needs. Security is a top priority for Ubuntu. In this release, there's a notable security enhancement. The kernel now requires programs to have an AppArmor profile for using unprivileged user namespaces. This measure significantly reduces the attack surface presented by unprivileged user namespaces. One of the most exciting changes in Ubuntu 23.10 is the introduction of the new App Center. Built using Google's Flutter SDK, this App Store replaces the previous Snap Store and offers more. With the App Center, you have full access to all of Canonical's Snap apps while also supporting the DEB package format. This flexibility ensures you can find and install the software you need. Ubuntu 23.10 brings several improvements in networking and hardware support. NetPlan is now the default setting storage backend for Network Manager, simplifying network configuration. Additionally, support for Raspberry Pi 5 and Sci-5 Hi-5 Pro P550 boards has been added, expanding the range of compatible devices. Keeping your device's firmware up to date is crucial for optimal performance and security. Ubuntu 23.10 introduces a standalone firmware updater app that simplifies the process. Now, updating your device's firmware is just a click away. For organizations that use Active Directory Certificate Services, Ubuntu 23.10 introduces machine certificate auto-enrollment support, enhancing security for business users. This feature streamlines certificate management and ensures secure communication. Ubuntu offers several official flavors each catering to different user preferences. Let's take a quick look at what's new in some of these flavors. Kubuntu and Ubuntu Studio come with KDE Plasma 5.27 LTS. Lubuntu offers LXQT 1.3.0. Ubuntu Cinnamon features Cinnamon 5.8, and Ubuntu Budgie includes Budgie 10.8. These flavors provide diverse desktop experiences for different user needs. In conclusion, Ubuntu 23.10, Mantic Minotaur is a significant update that brings numerous improvements and features. From performance enhancements and a new app center to enhanced security and broader hardware support, it's clear that Ubuntu is continuing to innovate and improve. Whether you're a seasoned Linux user or just starting your journey, Ubuntu 23.10 is a release worth trying out. What are your thoughts on these new features? Are you excited to try Ubuntu 23.10? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech updates. See you in the next video.